Someone's on the road. Someone's on the road. Let me mute them real fast. What's this? Okay. Um. So I apologize for not starting the recording on time, but it is the meeting was called to order at seven eleven, and now we are at the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, different from the previous times, I will just ask Lion Bud to unmute himself and recite the Pledge of Allegiance by himself, and we can all do it muted so we don't get all this uh, choppy nonsense. So, uh, Lion Bud, you, you should know what to do. Go ahead. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with unity and justice for all. Liberty and justice for all. Liberty and justice for all. Close enough. Thank you so much. Uh, that was uh, our past president, Bud Feria. Next, I'm going to ask if my dad is not talking to someone on the phone right now, that he unmutes himself and gives us a simple invocation. Let's bow our head and uh, uh, rem remind ourselves in the presence of God. Almighty God the Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. May you guide us yes, Lord. to formulate <laughs> plan of our lions club yes. so that we can serve <clears throat> the needy. We can serve our fellow men. We are doing this in the glory of God. Amen. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. That was our, actually, uh, I should introduce him first as our first vice district governor of District 4C4, Dr. June Valera and my dad. Um, uh, -hoo -hoo! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, next, um, we will go through and do introductions. Uh, so... Let's see. Unfortunately, I think Lion Candice, she's still on. She can still hear us, but she will not be able to take the recording. So, well, actually, Lion Candy, um, I, I don't see you here anymore. Did you, were you able to call in? <clears throat> Give it a couple seconds. Come on, cell phone. Hi. Oh, you're on your cell phone, but uh, that's Lion Candy? Yes. All right, perfect. Um, can you uh, take the, the uh, what do you call it, the attendance? <laughs> so, well, since you can't see it on your cell phone, I'll ask uh, each person individually to, uh, you know, take turns, um, introduce yourself, your position within the club, and Lion Candy, record that in the minutes. Uh, and uh, for random question for today, anyone have a good question that, that we can ask while we're doing the introductions? Something not too long, hopefully. May, may I start introducing myself? Uh, this is like... Well, okay. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll add the question. When you introduce yourself, name, position, and the question I came up with now is who... Um, in, say, state who introduced you into lionism who was the one who maybe your club sponsor or, or maybe your sponsor or who uh who got you involved in our club okay so lion dr june start ahead okay my name is lion dr june valera past president and uh, i was uh sponsored by the first co-presidents of our club or perhaps in the whole lci <laughs> dr Tony Gualberto and Virgi Gualberto in 2004. Thank you. Will I record that? No, you just, no. <laughs> it's, it's just for, for pleasantries. Last time it was, uh, how are you doing? And I, I thought I'd spice it up a bit since it's a, a new year. Um, I, so, I think only the name. Yeah, just, just the name and, and position. Hello, good evening. 
I'm Lion Elizabeth Hulo from San Francisco Post, transferred to your club, and I'm the um, chairman of the health and wellness in the District 4C4 appointed. Thank you. Oh, oh and uh, uh, wait, wait. sorry, um, be Any before members? you finish, uh, Lion, Liz, uh, the question for yeah. today um, is who who started you, who got you involved in lionism? Who is your original sponsor? And since you're you're a transfer member, then that would my be who, original, who yeah. yeah. My original sponsor is Dr. Helen Moriera. That was in 1989. Wow. <laughs> and okay. I was uh, with the Golden Gate Lions Club, and then I transferred to San Francisco Post and now to your club. Uh, long history with lionism there. Uh, who else? Yeah. <laughs> okay, next. Come on, we'll don't start. be shy. <laughs> All right, uh, Lion Bud Feria, um, past, uh, past uh, president, past uh, budget um, uh, committee with 4C4. Um, what else? Uh, uh, current sunshine chair. Current sunshine chair, and current Mr. Husband to the treasurer. I was uh, we were introduced. I was introduced by uh, I guess ten years ago by uh, Lion Polly Arzaga <clears throat> to the Lions, and this is my wife, the treasurer. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lion Lorna, and I was also introduced by Lion Polly Arzaga. Um, I'm the current Lion Vice President, Second Vice President, and Treasurer. Hi, I'm Lion Luisa Valera. Am I on? Yeah. Uh, past President, I learned about the Lions Club when my husband Dr. June become involved in it, but I got started and got involved with the Lions Club when my son became a Leo. And then I became a Leo advisor and that's how it started. Oh, she's a sponsor. My sponsor, of course, is the very proud head of the family unit, Dr. Valera. <laughs> Next, Louisa. Hi, um, I'm Leo Lyon Tessa, and I was also introduced to the Lions Club by my family after being a Leo. Who's your sponsor? My sponsor was my brother. Oh, no, my, no, your no mom. I mean my mom. Yeah, yeah my mom. Okay, well, I guess since my whole family has went, I might as well. Uh, hi, I'm your president, Lion, or Leo Lion Augusta. Um, I am Leo Lion, which means that I am now a lion, but I was previously a member of our associated youth group, Griffin's Leo's Club. And how I started joining, or how I started being involved in lionism was when my dad... Uh, Started leading the youth group and saw that they were down on members and asked me to, to come in and, and revive it. And looks like actually our, our group is, is dying once again. So to all the family members out there who have uh, sort of young kids uh, interested in volunteering in Lionism, uh, please, please uh, restart that again. Thank you. Hi, good evening, uh, le uh, fellow Lions. I'm Lion Cora Cabansagan. I'm a new transfer to uh, a Pil um, uh, Lions Club. I came from uh, San Francisco host. I have been uh, sponsored by uh, Lion Beth Yulo. And uh, I was amazed when they started the health fair in my place at Northgate. And I, I, I just got involved with the health fair and the food distribution center. Thank you. I mean that you're not your host, not your sponsor to this club, but your sponsor to the host originally was also Lion Beth. Yes, 
2011. Wow, so she's been pulling you along ever since, huh? <laughs> We have been actively involved, and I know how she does the <clears throat> the health fair, being her being her the chairman of the health fair. She does she did an amazing job, and I'm so grateful that I've been seeing how she does her job with the Vice Club. She's really good. Yeah, we 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 know, and we're we're blessed to have her now as one of our members. Um, maybe that's a good transition. Mm -hmm. Line Beth, are you here to introduce yourself? Yes, I I already did a while ago. Oh wait, you're right. <laughs> you're the second. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, myself earlier. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, who are we missing? Oh, of course. Right. Where's our... Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this... Uh, There's some Rico. more. Yeah, I'm uh, introduced by uh, Beth. Uh, was uh, in Golden Gate, Lion. 1990. 1990, <laughs> okay. And then to uh, San Francisco host. And now my present app is a uh, film, and my I'm director and uh, food bank volunteer and helper volunteer. Thank you. Oh, uh, I think maybe it wasn't clear at the very beginning. Uh, what's your name? Cora Pico. Okay. Welcome, Line Cora. <laughs> And uh, likewise, with all of our new transferees, we're, we're, we're glad to have you on board and eager to start serving with you. Um, okay. Who else? I can I go. Oh, yeah. That sounds like Paul. Yeah. Uh, Leo Lyon Paul, currently the um, Leo advisor. So uh, if you have kids that are looking to become Leos, please contact me. Uh, I forgot who my sponsor was for uh, becoming a lion. I think it was Lion Rod. What? But, I thought it was me. But if we're asking about... What, was me? it you? It was me. Okay, then yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, it was August. No, it was Rhea. My, my, sorry, it, I, I sponsored Rhea. Rhea sponsored Rhea? you. <laughs> The chain. I'm your well, I got sponsor. Sponsor. There by uh, someone. And now I'm here. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, Paul. Um, let's see. Out of the two that I can think of that haven't introduced themselves yet, we have our past president, Helen, and we have our secretary, Candice. Helen? Hello? Or, Hi. oh, and someone else. Hello? Yeah. Who's that? Uh, oh. Last person uh, is Helen This is Lion Rani. Rani Dory. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, both of you are speaking at the same time. Uh, Lion Helen go okay. first, and then Rani can follow. Sure. Um, <clears throat> my sponsor, I think, was Dr. Sadul, who is sponsored several other women like Dr. Lenny Martinez, myself, and some other uh, professional women. And they accepted the women at that time because of the suit that the Olympics Club, filed, that we filed against the Olympics Club for not accepting women in their club. And so the Lions decided this is now the time to accept women. And there were five of us at the same time. <clears throat> Dr. Martinez, I think uh, Dr. Moyera, <clears throat> myself, and um, some other women. But there were six of us. Oh, Dr. Marcos, Alice Marcos, uh, at that time. So that's a long time ago. And I'm still in the Lions Club. That's it. Great. 
I, I remember you 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 talked about this previously. So Oscar, and Oscar was a, a charter member, right? So you're 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 one of the the original, not not a charter member yourself because you weren't eligible, but you were you were sponsored by one of our charter members. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks for being with us for so long. <laughs> um, Past President Ronnie. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm a Lion Ronnie, past president. I was sponsored by uh, past president Grupo Macaroeg in 1940. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. That's my birthday. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my birth, birth year. Born okay, a lion, huh? Ahead, ahead. 1940 was yeah. the war. <laughs> <laughs> and are you claiming yourself as a member of that World War II, Lion 40? <laughs> no, I just want to okay, wake you up. Okay, you better get your, your dates organized. <laughs> I just want to wake you up. I just huh? want to make sure you wake up. Ooh. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I'm not sure. Very funny, very okay, funny okay. line, Ronnie. Um, he learned it All in right. his uh, university. You know, uh, I'll see you. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. Um, okay. Okay, go ahead. So, okay. Yeah. Um, who? Oh, uh, line candy. You put yourself. So let's go. Let's go with you. Um, okay. Um, my husband Sal brought me to the Lions meeting. Um, and then it was um Rufo and them that um well maybe no, I think it was Ronnie that brought Sal into it. So it's Rufo and, and, and Ronnie that brought us to the Lions Club. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, so how's how's Sal right now? Is he around or is he busy today? Um, since all of this stuff with um, you know, the, all these emergencies, he is uh like on one of the first responders, so they're they're kind of twenty four seven dealing with issues with uh, Muni. Oh no. Yeah. Well. I heard about the the bus route closures with uh, Muni. Yeah, so that's where he is at the moment. He he may pop in later. We'll okay, okay, and and we understand <laughs> it's tough times we're going through right now, and that he has a very important job. And you can tell him that if, if he comes in, he can he can get breakfast or he can get dinner first before he he comes into the meeting. <laughs> okay. okay, is that is that everyone? Uh, has everyone had a chance to introduce themselves? I th I think Lion Rupo is on the line. Is he? Mm -hmm. Line Rufo. Okay, well, I don't hear from him. Um, if anyone pops in later, uh, we'll ask that you hold, and then maybe during the open forum, you can introduce yourself. So with that, um, let's move ahead with the agenda. Uh, what's next? I think it's you, actually, Line Candy. Uh can you okay i i did not um read your minutes from the last if i if catch that you should you should be so able to click on that link and then just read it out and i'll also open it up uh, on the call for those and not not everything of course please don't um just just the parts that are important <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So you 
did the secretary's report last meeting, and then um, Lynn and Lorna did the treasurer's report. We closed our joint lines in site account. Um, but we're supposed to have two accounts, one for admin and one for service slash charity. Um, so it was tabled for an outside meeting. Um, so there are banks that give free accounts for nonprofits. Mission based hours are limited to these days and hard to get bank balance without online access. Um, so the last recorded balance was $1,119.10. So, um, let's see. The motion carried. It was, um, motion to accept the report made by Dr. June, seconded by August. No objection, so motion carried. And then, uh, next is, um, Outstanding dues, we need to invoice those who have not paid, um, also need to have a budget meeting. Um, any dues may be paid by check, made out to SF Phil Ann Lyons and mailed to Treasurer Lorna, and it um, has her address there, uh, PayPal or Zelle. Uh, President's report um, by Helen. She's happy our club has survived 49 years. Women were originally not admitted. Um, let me see. You can uh, summarize more more briefly. Actually, even most of the, the committee reports aren't uh, that necessary to be read. Okay. Um, let's see. So then there's committee reports. Um, from membership, um, service, uh, let's see, health fair, sunshine, golden jubilee, new meeting time, uh, And so was this already sent out for everyone to read or we're just hearing it now? Um, so it's similar to how the agenda currently stands. It's, it's sent out to everyone. So the way it works is we send out the agenda before the meeting takes place. Um, it's edited in place while the meeting occurs. And then it is uh, sort of polished up after the meeting, but everyone has access to it for the entire uh, duration. So ev everyone does have an opportunity to read it on their own time, but just to summarize the, the main points and make sure there are, you know, at least for the, the facts and figures that there were no uh, inaccuracies before we accept it now. Uh, so I think your reading is accurate or you, you went over most of it. I, I would say that uh, for new meeting time, we decided to keep the meeting as is um, every first Wednesday. So the, the old business and the new business are really what's most important aside from the the, the reports by each of the officers. Uh, Golden okay. Jubilee didn't have anything. Youth Protection Policy didn't have, it was just informational. Leo Advisor and Partnerships were informational. So that's, that's a good reading. Uh, and anyone, uh, it, it was sent out last meeting. So, and it's also linked in the agenda of this meeting. So feel free to, to refer to that. So thank you, uh, Line Candy, for the good reading of our minutes. And now we will move uh, into a motion. Uh, can I? Um, I'd like to ask: Is there? Can there be a motion on the table to accept the previous meeting's minutes as read? Uh, I, I move that the secretary. Okay, I heard Lion Rufo. Yes. Um, so there's a motion on the table to accept the previous meeting minutes as met, read, made by Lion Rufo. Is there a second? Someone just yell out. Second, Helen. So, okay. No, I, I heard Helen first. Okay. Seconded by, pres, uh, by past president Helen. Um, now, any discussion? 
any corrections that need to be made. Hearing none, uh, we will move into a vote. All in favor of accepting the minutes as read, say aye. 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 All right. Any objections? Aye. Aye. If they I, I heard. I, raise your hand. Yeah, I, I heard. I heard an aye during aye. the objections, so I, I assume that that was delayed. Okay, hearing no objection, uh, the motion carries. Uh, we have approved the, the minutes. Thank you. Uh, and that's how it works, or that's that's how it how it, it goes. So next we will have the treasurer's report by Treasurer Lorna. I'm gonna mute myself. Good evening, everybody. So um, right now our current balance is uh, $1,119.50. One we receive membership dues of about 180 bucks. And um, we, I need to touch base with everyone individually because a lot of us have not paid our dues. We recently received a mid-year statement, a semi-annual statement for membership dues in the amount of $559 even, which brings our new balance to $740.10. So um, once we deposit those monies and pay out, um, pay for this invoice, which is by the way, not due until like, um, after August, like they extended the deadline, um, our balance should be about 740 and 10 cents. And um, if you'd like to know if I received your payment or not, um, please uh, feel free to call me or email me. My number is 415-370-7355. Or um, we will email you again my address. Um, and I apologize because some of one member was trying to uh, send his due via Zelle. And unfortunately, uh, the transmission was not successful. So maybe check is worth it or um, email, using my email address for Zelle. Good. Uh, question? That's it. A question for Lion Lorna. Um, all right, this is Lion August. Um, the invoice mentioned is this for international or MD4? Um, uh, LC LCI. International. So international. International. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you and you, you received this by mail. I uh, went to the uh, LCI, my LCI website. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or discussion? May, may, I, ha may I have a question? Sure. Yeah, so uh, Lion uh, Lorna, while uh, August is typing on this on the treasurer's report, can you check if it the one that she, he is typing there is uh, accurate? This uh, meeting we have already a treasurer's report. Everything is already set. That uh, the five uh, the five hundred fifty nine is the amount of the mid year dues. Under um, so Candy, I see you typing. Um, so um, dues, I don't have the total dues outstanding, but the invoice due is that five fifty nine. Okay, the invoice is. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah the that's five hundred fifty nine, and then you can take out the five fifty nine above. Is is that right. from for LCI? Yes. Okay, five fifty nine for the LCI. Right, so Candy, if you remove the five fifty nine uh, uh, on um, a lot have not paid their dues. The August is the one typing it. I think I think yeah. 
No, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not okay. secretary anymore. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry. So, yeah, there. Thank you. That's perfect. That's perfect. Uh, I, I would like to commend uh, Secretary Candy for her great work um, in that people think that it's I'm the one doing it. But so she, she's doing a, a, a marvelous job in, in fulfilling the duties of the secretary. <laughs> that's that's very good line, Candice, because now we're done meeting. We have already we have already the, rep, the, rest, the secretary's report. OK, any other discussion? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, thanks again, Lion Candy. Um, any discussion? Any other discussion or questions on Treasurer's report before we move into a motion? Hearing none, um, I would like to ask um, can someone put a motion on the table to accept I, I, I the move. Treasurer's report as, uh, as presented? And I already heard a a motion made by Lion Dr. June. Um, is Thank there you. a second? Is there a second, second. on this motion? Oh, second. I heard second the motion. I heard uh, Bud Furia. Um, so there is a motion to accept the treasurer's report as made uh, or made by Lion Dr. June, seconded by Bud Furia. Um, any discussion? Hearing none, we're Nay. going to move into a vote. Um, all in favor of approving the report, say aye. 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 Any against? Say nay. Hearing none, motion carries. Thank you very much. Okay. Now it is my turn. Uh, thank you, everyone. I am your new incoming president, Lion August Valera. Uh, third in my family to be a president of our club. <laughs> Let's see if we can get four to four eventually. No pressure, yeah, Tessa. But uh, so thank you for electing me. Um, I know that I am quite young uh, and I may not have, I mean, okay, I do have a lot of years of experience under my belt as, as a Leo, as a former Leo and now a lion, but I don't have that much life experience. So I, I see myself as sort of bridging the gap between uh, our his club's <laughs> long historious past and the hopeful future of uh, recruiting new members, new younger members, and starting to embrace technology. Uh, oh, uh, Line Dr. June, you're unmuted. So anyway, so I, I would like to ask for all of the club's support. I know we have a lot of members here that have been in the club for a long time, have a lot of experience in lionism. Uh, Lion Helen Marte, or past president Helen Marte especially, I'll be looking for for her guidance. Um, so we we are, you know, we're we're if to my when I last checked, we are the oldest Filipino American in Lions Club um, in the United States, or I mean Phil Am Club. Uh, we, we are one of the oldest in our district. Um, we're almost reaching 50. Um, I know some clubs have reached 100, but, but there's many of them that are older than that have, are, are no longer in existence. So we're, we're, we're on there. So we have a long his storied history of service. Many of the clubs in District 4C4 have started or branched out from San Francisco Phil Am, and as, as people have... Uh, decided to create their own specialty club, but there are a lot of the, the Filipino American clubs are, are formerly are composed of our former members. Um, most recent of which is San Francisco Nueva Vizcaya, the, the club that was uh, sponsored by us. And now uh, Lion Rufo, our past president is still a member of our club, but his wife, the Macareg was, uh, was she the charter president of, of Nueva Vizcaya? I think so, right? Yeah. So, anyway, we have we have we have a lot of uh, signature service projects. We do we do a lot of health fairs, um, a lot of yeah, a lot of things relating to health. Um, we also have more recently gone big when it comes to the Philippines and started supporting our, our brethren in the Philippines by opening up eye clinics, by doing medical missions um, in the Philippines. In 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 uh, what do you call it? 
in, in De La Salle University um, in the Philippines and then later in the province of Nova Vizcaya. Uh, we hope, I hope to continue working on these large projects along with the other Filipino clubs in the Bay Area. And I hope to continue serving our people. Our, um, line, Dr. June, you're unmuted. This can add, can, yeah, but you cannot, can this cannot increase. What? Okay. Line, Dr. June, you're unmuted. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so anyway, uh, that's my spiel. I, I didn't really prepare like a formal speech, but I, I look forward to working with you. And, and the thing is, uh, I'm I'm here as a resource. I'm here to to lead for this year, but I want, um, you know, since I'm very young, I, I want all of your input and I want to to help because at at the end of the day, um, our Lions Club is uh, is here to serve, and all the the best thing, or you know the 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 ones who are really serving are the members. It's not us officers. Our officers are here to guide us and and help us, but the members are the ones who who will be bringing up the ideas, who will be who will be on the floor, you know, packing the food boxes, cleaning up the zoo, all of these service projects that we do. So thank you again. Um, and as far as my report, uh, so that, that was my speech. Um, I did receive communication from our region chair, uh, line Yali Kabyab. I believe she's a past member of Phil Am. Uh, now she's with San Francisco host. And she just wanted to touch base with all of the clubs in her region. So uh, we're a member of District 4C4. Um, that's all the clubs, all the Lions clubs in San Francisco, San Mateo, and the city of Palo Alto. So those two counties in Palo Alto. Um, we're also a member of a smaller group, which is the region. And the region is held is uh, led by Lion Yali. And then we also have a zone, which is a, a collection of, I think, four clubs and then two regions or two zones per region. And then the whole district has five regions. So that's our hierarchy. Um, Yoli has reached out to us and just said, um, you know, keep doing what you're doing, submit your, your membership reports and service reports. And I think we'll have more closer communication with her and our zone chair, uh, Angie Louie in the future. And I think uh, that is it for me. I, I'm not going to, to go ahead and sort of push um, new service projects that I want to do yet because it, it is we are, we are living in trying times. Uh, this pandemic has, has brought a lot of uh, trouble and sort of derailed a lot of our plans to, to start working on a medical mission, uh, you know, go to international convention, all of this stuff. But we're, we're going we're gonna to work through it. So thank you. That's it for my report. Next, we will go into committee reports. Um, and since Lion Candy is very busy typing out what I said, um, membership committee, Rufo Macareg, and then maybe Dr. June after. Uh, Rufo, are you still there? Is he muted, maybe? Line Rufo, if you're talking, I not hear you. He was here at some point, right? Yeah, but uh, may I help? Yes, um, you received my email, right? So go ahead, Line Dr. June. Yeah, so uh, the, uh, this is uh, since uh, Line Rufo is uh, having some issues with the... Uh, uh, connection our membership committee in behalf of Lion past president Rufo we're lucky that uh, we have uh, new members coming in and I think we, we have uh, two new members that was added uh, Lion uh, Romy Tepulia and Lion uh, Is it Cora for Kabansagan? Uh, I believe it's Cora Pico, actually. Cora oh, yeah, Cora Pico. Lion Romy and Lion Cora oh. Pico. And uh, I believe there is, uh, yeah, it's added. This one that is uh, 
a new member. Lion Edit. A new member, Lion Edit, is in the process. Is he is she is being uh, sponsored by Lion Cora Pico, I think. Is it Lion Cora Pico or Lion Cora Kabansagan? Other one now. Maybe Kabansagan. Cora Kabansagan. Oh yeah, Lion Lion Cora Kabansagan. Are you here to to present your? Your new uh, or your the one the new member that you're sponsoring. Uh, line Cora, you're muted right now. Sorry. That's okay. Well, other Cora, Cora's on. Can I unmute her? Line Cora Kavansagan. Uh, you're oh. okay now. Now you're unmuted. <laughs> can you can, can you introduce you your yes? Now we can hear you. Can you introduce your uh, your member application? Oh, uh, like the new member that I'm trying to <clears throat> um, edit the caldo, and uh, she's my uh, friend, <clears throat> my friend, and. <clears throat> She's interested to join the San, um, San Francisco Pill. Um, she's a nurse, uh, a nurse provider, care provider, and she's aware of what we have been doing. And she's really interested to join us. Uh, Line June. Uh, Dr. June, uh, what what happens <laughs> now? Yeah, are you supposed to like screener or I think we she knows us. <laughs> what what is the question, Mr. President? Since you are representing the membership committee, um, we've just received a application for a new member. Um, what what do you need to know or so so what we need to know is uh upon verification of his uh of his uh, of her uh application and payment then we will give her a call and maybe next meeting we will <laughs> present her to our club If there is no objection from the club, okay. So I mean, this is a now uh, an open discussion. I do think that uh, her skill as a as a healthcare worker is an asset to our club. Uh, we look forward to. I, I think she probably she probably knows that we do a lot of health fairs, or she probably heard from you. So we we hope to to include her on this particularly. Um, does she have any sort of ideas on uh, sort of service projects that she wants to bring to us? Any organizations she's a part of, um, aside from Lions or something along those lines? I, I guess she would be better off with the health, health care, health fair. Oh. Where does she work? <clears throat> so, so in be in behalf of La Lion Rufo, uh, thank you very much and uh, uh, we will we will call and interview our uh, the uh, future lion edit. I'm pretty sure 
she will be a great asset of our club, especially in health services we provided to our communities. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you, uh, Thank you. Line Dr. Jun. <laughs> Thank you, Line Cora, for being so so proactive. You know, you've only been a, a member for a couple of months and you're already uh, paying off. <laughs> I won't put it that way, but yeah, we always we always welcome new members. Uh, feel free to bring them to us, especially those willing to serve. Yeah. Um, okay, so next we are going to move on. If there's nothing else for membership, I don't think so, right? <coughs> okay, and I will move on to LCIF. Uh, Lion Helen Marte, or past president Helen, you are now in charge of... LCIF, <laughs> and I think you've already been focusing on this last year, but do you have anything else to say on it? Well, I would like um, first to organize a committee. Right now, there is no committee for LCIF. And uh, <clears throat> secondly, I would like to, um, as an objective, of the LCIF committee is to bring one, um, what do you call, um, one member in the in the call and and make it as a um, um, so that we have uh, we will become a lot of uh, what do you call members. Uh, that that has the requirement. Anyway, uh, I have not gotten a committee as of yet, and it is very difficult to do a committee over the phone. So anyway, um, uh, I should we should have at least about two two other meetings before we could set up a committee. And if we could produce one Melvin Jones a year, that would be very good for our club. And uh, as you know, we only have very few Melvin Jones members in our club. So my hope is that we will be one of the clubs who has quite a few Melvin Jones. Uh, I think we we would need to wait at least about two months or or three uh, to figure out how how to fundraise for membership of Melbourne Jones, and, and that's my report. Yeah. Um, so I think our club has had a bit of a disadvantage in the past. That sure we have done a lot of fundraisers, you know, crowd feeds and whatnot, but they've all gone towards our, our, uh, our projects in the Philippines, almost exclusively, you know, straight towards the eye clinic or the medical mission. So we, we haven't, or we are lacking a bit behind as far as contributing to our foundation, LCIF, Lions Clubs International Foundation. Um, but I guess um, I, if we're going to have a committee, um, and I'll I'll leave that to you to come up with that at a time that's a bit easier, you know, when we're able to meet face to face. I think maybe if we do want to try to get uh, one Melvin Jones at least by the end of the year, then a, a great way to do that would be to set up some sort of raffle or some sort of fundraiser within the club, and you know, also outside, uh, and then the proceeds of that go to LCIF, and then the winner of the raffle. Can can be the 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 named uh, donator and and as such receive the the Melvin Jones, which is a an honor given to those who donate uh, one thousand dollars to LCIF. It doesn't have to be all at once, too. Um, so I think I've I've made a couple of twenty dollar uh, contributions during raffles, and they've been they've been added to my name. So once, once I've accumulated $1,000 over the course of several years, then, then I'll get that too. But yeah, that's just one idea Ooh. of mine. 
Okay, where is now your one thousand dollars? <laughs> no, I'm I'm saying eventually. I I have maybe a hundred dollars or so, <laughs> it, but it accumulates. That was my point. Is that LC oh, LCIF yeah. actually oh, tracks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is your task for this year. <laughs> I I don't know about this year. Remember Joe's uh, fee for this year as being president. <laughs> We'll, we'll see. Okay, you better ask your dad <laughs> to come up with the 500 at least. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll talk about that. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's important that you, as our president, is a Melvin Jones holder. That's what I'm oh, man. That's a, that's a very yeah. expensive presidency, $1,000. <laughs> You're, you d well, don't. I don't want to disassuage anyone from <laughs> from becoming president in the future if I. <laughs> well, you you just learned about this tonight. <laughs> it was never a requirement. Yeah, it's okay. it's good. It's a good goal but, to have. But That's now true. that you mentioned it, now that you mentioned it, that uh, that you. <clears throat> are are not even as near to the task of being a member of the Melvin Jones. Okay. Anyway, we'll we'll talk about that another time. But that that is my goal for this year. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that thank you. The it person. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see if we can, if I can find, you know, if we can scrounge up a, a one Melvin Jones this year, and if not, oh well, we'll see. <laughs> I might, I might be forced to to help your your dream come true. Anyway, um, that thank you for LCIF. Um, that's pre past okay. immediate past president Helen Marte. Um, next we have service committee. Um, past president Luisa. Uh, hi, this is a uh, service chair. As to the service, I have signed up for the San Francisco Food Bank in Pennsylvania Avenue for July 26, 9 to 11 a.m. I would like to, I have signed up the Valera Family Unit and I would like to know who else would like to join so I can put your name. They have a different sign up thing now. So after I sign up the volunteers, I, I, I after I have signed up the volunteers, you will have to go in there and confirm, sort of confirm yourself. So who would like to join? Line Lorna, I know you you use no. Yeah, you usually come. Do you wanna come? It's a Sunday. What what time? Nine. Hello. Hello. Nine. Eleven. What time? Nine to eleven. Nine. Uh, I'll say uh, yes. What do you? So say? how many? Who? Sunday. Sunday. Uh, okay. July okay. twenty six. Nine to eleven. Okay. That's the only one that I can get so far. I'm just we're just trying mm -hmm. to see how to go back in there. Yeah, at least once a month to start. So, Lion yeah, Lord, I like that. Yes, our family uh, can join. For how many and who? Because they want individual people now. They, before, I just tell them how many, but now they want I'll, the I'll, names of the people. I'll, I'll commit four. So, you let me know? You let me know. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay, four various. Yeah, you put my name there. Is Lion not included on that? Uh, probably not because uh, he has to watch Fergus. Okay, so we have Lulu. Lulu, Anna, Thomas, me. While we're at it, oh, yeah. So yeah. Anna, Anna. you have to watch Lulu, Anna, okay. Thomas, and me. I can sign. I will need the phone. email address of those people. Uh, do you want me to email it? Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Take, please take this off. Yeah, please take this offline. Just get the counts yes. now, and okay. you know where to find them. All right. Um, of course, I'm included in the Valera family, so the Valera family is already. Uh,
So, yeah, Valera family has four um, for that already. So uh, now we have eight volunteers from our club. Anyone else interested in maybe, maybe it would be helpful for, especially for some of our new members, if Lion Louisa went ahead and explained what the food bank is and what we do there? Uh, for for a Saturday schedule instead of a Sunday? I will try, but this is the only one available for now. Mm -hmm. That I got. Oh, okay. That's the nearest one. So you want to talk to them next time? And I heard Cora also do food bank, right? You're cutting. Choppy. Okay. I heard Cora saying earlier that she goes to the food bank also. Yeah. So if you guys have any service activities that you are doing, let me know so that we can enter it in the LCI. Okay. Any any lion member, you know. Uh, and Luisa, maybe you can also give out your contact info. My email is with the SF Phil. I'm already right. lsbalera58 at gmail.com. Or you can call our house 650 754 Yeah, it's there already. 75401. Thank you, Line. Get this out <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so that was service committee. Actually, maybe open the floor to any other ideas for service, any other, um, if anyone else has any service opportunities that they'd like to mm -hmm. advertise to the club, and then... It's kind of hard with COVID, huh? difficult to plan now you just have to wait yeah so i mean thankfully the food bank still has their thing uh i don't think uh line luisa was able to explain exactly what it is but we the the way we normally serve in the food bank and how this shift that was just signed up or just mentioned july 26 9 to 11 is uh we, we go to the San Francisco Food Bank and we're packing boxes, like individual boxes for people to, to pick up. Um, so they, they already have like, you know, piles or like a large pallet of cereal, cans, all of that. And we're just taking individual pieces and packing, packing boxes up for like good for one family. Um, so it's, it's not really that much heavy lifting. Uh, at least when, when we sort the fruits, sometimes you have to touch them gross uh you know partially spoiled fruit or like some mushy fruit but it's otherwise it's uh, the only actually the important thing would be uh if you are coming volunteer you have to wear closed toe shoes um i think that's the big one and uh, louisa uh, do you remember any other requirements the one that they just are emphasizing is closed toe shoes and keep yourself uh, warm. The, you will receive the email from the food bank if when you sign up. Okay. Um, so I think that is it for service committee. Um, huh. I think wait, line Dr. Jun, no other service reports, uh, global health initiative or anything along those lines. Okay, so since uh, most of our activities in our club is uh, pertains to health, so uh, since this is COVID-19 pandemic and our services to the community is limited, so hoping that once we are, uh, this situation is uh, better or more stable, then we can probably provide more services to our community. However, 
There are some lions who still provide activities. Uh, just let us know if you uh, volunteer in different organizations and you represent our club. Let let the service chair know that you are doing this so that we can put in our uh, service uh, activity report in LCI. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Line Dr. Drun. And actually, that's a great tangent, or no, that's a great transition. Um, now, uh, service, that's the service committee done. Next, we have marketing communications committee, and I am the chair of that, so I'll be reporting. Uh, so first off, uh, it's a new year, so I'm going to just sort of do a recap on what we have. Um, so my job as marketing communications is to go over the social media of the site of the of the club um, handle its website and all of that and also uh, look through new ways to use technology such as so uh, one 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 thing that we do is you know now that our meetings are held online um, they're also recorded so and I, I usually give a warning at the beginning that they're being recorded I think I did this time too because I said I was going to start it late um, so those are recorded and made available to our members who can't attend the physical or the, the on-time meeting uh, on our YouTube channel. So now, uh, hopefully, if you have a screen in front of you, you can see this. But if not, our club website, where you can find more information of our club, um, it lists the past officers up at least until 2009 forward, because we couldn't get anything more, more than that. But we have the list of all the past presidents, you know, since our club started. We have the list of um, past officers. Um, you know, the, all of the officers from 2009 forward, we have the list of all the current members. So feel, feel proud to have your name listed amongst uh, our, our hardworking serving lions. We have uh, some information on the different um, service projects that we do. Um, our most critical uh, or sort of signature ones are the eye clinics, the health fairs, the medical mission, and generic other multi-club um, projects. Uh, and I think I'd add to that, I'd add a youth exchange is a large one that we've started doing recently. And then over here, if you go to, um, again, the website is sfphilamlions.org. No spaces, no dashes, <laughs> just the straight words, um, sfphilamlions. Um, you can see our social media. We have a lot of social media. Uh, that's been my, my work is getting getting us a, a profile on all of these platforms. We have Facebook. We have a Facebook page. Um, it's also SF Philam Lions on Facebook. So feel free if you if you haven't already liked us and joined our group, please like our Facebook page. Um, we try to post the pictures from our events there, um, like whenever we serve. Uh, we also have Twitter. That's uh, for more of short short messages. I think all of the calendar events are put on Twitter. We have Instagram, which is for photos. Um, LinkedIn, which is more of a professional business thing. Uh, YouTube, which is, uh, again, where you can find the videos of all of our recordings. And then, of course, we also have My Lion. Um, and that is Lions Clubs International listing for us. Uh, there's also on the website, you'll find our mailing list. If you're not already receiving our emails, I don't think that there's anyone here that aren't receiving the emails, but you can find the emails by going to mail.sfphilamlions.org. See the list of all of the emails. We also have a calendar, et cetera, et cetera. Here's our logo. Um, so that's, that's most of it. Um, that's it for my social media summary of what we have. Um, the My Lion app, that's the second thing. So Lions Clubs International um, launched this app and a website recently, um, maybe the past two years ago. Um, the You can go to it by going to lionsclubs.org and then clicking login, member login at the very top. That's the international site. And every Lion, uh, every Lion member has a member ID and can create an account on My Lion. And My Lion is the way that we report uh, club activities. Um, so the only information that's required is your birthday, your either your email or your telephone number, and those are the ones that are were given to us in your member application. So if you have a new uh, email, phone number, address, if you if your ch information changes in any way, please reach out to the club secretary. That's Line Candice now, um, and she should update that information for you or for us. 
And then the last thing is the member ID. Uh, if you don't know your member ID, that also you should contact Line Candice and she can check on on my LCI, the, the member reporting uh, site, what your member ID is. And with those three pieces of information, you should be able to create a Lion account and then you can go in and see what our club's been doing, what how, how we've been serving, like how we rank compared to other clubs, et cetera, et cetera. So that's just, uh, you know, putting it out there that the, the My Lion app exists. If you need help, you can also feel free to contact me and I'll probably post like a tutorial on how to, how to create a Lion account uh, sometime <laughs> this month or next month. Uh, so that's it for marketing. Uh, any questions on marketing? Any feedback on our, our Facebook or on our, our social media? Anything you want to see? I'm, I'm open to any suggestions. Uh, well, maybe, maybe I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. So I'm going to send out in, in the... When, when the minutes or when, when the after this meeting, I'll be sending out a, a reply to the, the email about the minutes with our social media links, and you can join us on Facebook and all of that. Thank you. Uh, that's <clears throat> for marketing. So next, uh, health care committee. Line, Dr. June. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, I'm Line, Dr. June, and uh, I'm the health fair committee chair. So, so in the, at this time of the health fair planning is uh, on hold because we really don't know when we can serve our community through our health fairs. Uh, we are just serving the community as a frontliners. However, uh, I would like to recommend co-chairs to the health fair committee to help me. Uh, one is uh, Dr. Oscar Sadul to be a co-chair of the health health care committee, and Lion List Yulo to be a co-chair of the uh, health care committee. And of course, with that is my recommendation, and it's up to you, Mr. President, to approve my recommendation because I'm pretty sure. Dr. Sadul and Lion Lish Yulo will provide us uh, great uh, uh, resources and affairs. I second that motion. Uh, is this something that uh, is voted upon or do I just appoint? It's, I, it's, I think it's being you, the president, you, you can just appoint. Okay. Um, Okay. I, I I do I agree with uh, all the sentiments of line Dr. June. Um, I think the the problem earlier was that they weren't members of our club yet <laughs> when we were oh, doing yeah. our election. Uh, oh. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a correction. No. Dr. Sadul was a past president of Philam. Sadul, yes, but did was he? Didn't he become inactive? And then recently well, started paying again. Yeah. I, I know, but he was past president. Oh yeah. Okay. That's so, so okay. it'll it'll be recorded so him. That. Yeah. Yeah. It'll it'll okay. be recorded. It's past I president. To be sure that, uh, yeah, that, that that he had served Phil um before, and he had been past president. No, that's right. That's right. Can I mean, you hear me now, Lion Noga? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Lion Rufo. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, uh, finally. Uh, maybe my phone is there's something wrong. <laughs> oh no. What happened? Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I, 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 I asked. Can, uh, anyway. huh? Okay, I, I, I asked the secretary uh, reflect that Lion Rufo is here uh, in the agenda. Um, I also asked that. Yeah, uh, I, I can. I, I can hear you guys, but uh, I, I'm having my phone every time I am unmute. I, I, I don't know why you cannot hear me, but uh, I got all your all the conversation. And uh, anyway, congratulations. We're blessed to have you. I believe you are the youngest president of uh, SF Film, 
and uh, <laughs> we have uh, blessed to have you with this uh, new technology. I think we we're gonna have a good year. Uh, thank thank you for your remarks, President Rufo. Uh, maybe I'll ask uh, Line Helen. I'm 24 right now. Uh, can can you confirm that I'm the youngest president in history? <laughs> I yeah, guess. At, at, yeah, 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 Okay, so yeah, I, I do, I will, I, I agree, and I, I do move to appoint, um, or not move, I, I, I appoint um, line Dr. June, who's currently sitting as a, the chair of the Health Fair Committee, and the two new appointees, uh, past president Dr. S uh, Oscar Sadul, and Lion Elizabeth Yulo, our new transferee. Um, so those three will serve together as co-chairs of this committee until further notice. Um, I direct the secretary to, uh, well, of course, put it in the minutes, but more importantly, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll work with her to get that updated on the website uh, under our list of officers um, after this meeting. So good. Um, nothing else for health fair, right? There's no, there's no news, no. <laughs> nothing at this time, except that um, uh, we did a walk with Dr. Valera last week at the San Mateo Good Samaritan and we were given three rooms so which we plan to do a permanent um, we do a permanent clinic there for our other clubs that we could use that's good that's uh, great to hear uh -huh. um, yeah, that's, that's for now because uh we have not really planned anything. It's just that we are trying to organize and trying to see what we can put up. Yeah, that's understandable. And it's, it's good to see that uh, yeah, even in this time... Depending upon the number. Yeah. Yeah, I, depending I know that... Depending upon the volunteers and at the same time the project. Yes. Yeah, so again... Uh, Please uh, be sure to whenever whenever an opportunity to serve comes up that you email uh, sfphilamlions at googlegroups.com or it's you know the same email that you receive these notices for the meeting and we'll try to step up and serve because as much as this is a trying time you know sort of a difficult time to go to be outside and to serve it's also the time that people are in the most need and you know where there's a need there's a lion so I think we we need to step up and serve safely serve in the ways that we can so thank you line beth for bringing that up uh i think that's it for health fair um you're welcome anytime uh unless uh line dr june has anything else he wants to say no okay um so next we will move into sunshine okay. committee oh Sunshine Committee. Um, that would be our two new chairs, or our, our new chair this time is Line Bud Feria, and we are accompanied by Line Veni Zamora. Line Bud. Oh, did he step out? He probably needs to unmute. Yeah, he stepped out. Okay. Um, then. Uh, I can't hear. No, I, I heard Lion Lorna. Um, so let's see who should take over because Lion Venny isn't here. I did text her. Uh, she's part of this text group now. Um, Lion Bud is out uh, for sunshine news. Any health related news from any members of the club, or you know, any any updates? If if you have any relatives or if you yourself are are sick, uh, hopefully not with COVID, but. Feel free to speak up now. Mr. President. Yes. Uh, I, spoke, I, I spoke I spoke to Lion uh, Ven a few minutes ago. And uh, she said that uh, uh, she cannot join our our meeting because she's not... Uh, tech savvy? He, she's not tech savvy. He does not know how to do the computer. And he has some problems with 
her uh, telephone. So maybe next time we will teach her how to use this uh, phone uh, meeting. I'll have to check the records, but I could have sworn that I remember her being able to call in previously. Well, anyway, you were able to call her, which means that she's she should be able to call. Maybe next time it's just a matter of communicating. Uh, so we'll we'll ask. Uh, maybe I'll ask the the secretary or myself to to give her a call next time to let her know what the the meeting ID and and phone number to get into the meeting is. is she, did did you relay that information to her, line Doctor June? She can still join. Yes, I told her, but he said, "Oh, I'm having some problems with my telephone." Ah, okay. Well, that's fine. Hopefully, is she, did she say anything? Is she in good health? <laughs> She's doing great. Okay, good, good to hear. Uh, anyone else? Actually, uh, Lion Helen, since you're here, do you have any updates on Lion Shirley's uh, recovery? <clears throat> uh, past President Helen Marte? Uh oh. Um, which one is that? Because I think the the problem with if you're muted on telephone. So line Helen, uh, I for some reason we have you here now as muted, and I can't unmute you. I'm gonna have to. Can you hang up and then redial the call? I think she's the five one zero, right? The problem, yeah, the problem with the phone numbers uh, is one. Yeah, I, I'm having a problem to dial star six and mute and mute. Okay, I'm going to be kicking out some people. Okay, hopefully she gets this and, and then is able to get back in. Okay, um, line Romney says that he got in and he is able to hear us, but we can't hear him. Uh, well, maybe Lion Romy, just just make sure that you're not muted. Uh, you can you can tap, and then and then you'll see the microphone icon on the the right or sorry on the left side of the hang up icon, and try to unmute yourself. Anyway, so let's move on. I guess if there's no sunshine committee news, I guess when it comes to health, no news is good news. So let's hope it keeps that way. <laughs> um, next we have Griffin's Leos. Advisor, Paul Quilly. Yes. I, I added you to the agenda now, so you'll you'll appear more regularly. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know if I should be thanking you or not. But uh, in terms of Leo's, the Griffin's Leo's, uh, as you know, we, uh, we don't have any official members anymore. Uh, however, um, that thing I was talking about before with uh, – the collaboration with the uh, Leo's Club of um, from uh, India. I've been, for the past month or so, I was keeping in contact with them very closely for their uh, bigger uh, promotion project for Leoism around the world, which we will we'll use the video as well for our own self-promotion for our Leo's Club. So we gathered, or I've gathered uh, several past members um, a majority of them are uh, past Leo presidents to talk about our experiences with our club and um, how uh, Leo clubs and um, Leonism affects us as a club as a whole or affected us as a whole. So I just got, I just sent out the, um, the video from uh, St. Petersburg um, White Knights Leo's Club as a little gist of how it's supposed to look like or um just ideas of what to say it's very short very easy i think it's a it'll be a great platform for us to spread our uh to spread our club out for people to join our club as well so there's that Juan paul you said you sent it did you send it via email or or send me you... email. For oh no, for I, the... I sent it by text message. I just texted. Uh... Oh, the group chat. 
Yeah, I kept them in a group chat. Okay. Good morning. And then, okay. our, yeah. And then, of course, it's going to be a short video, but we'll, we're going to make an extended version, perhaps, to promote our club. Um, okay. Um, I will ask, um, can you uh, coordinate, actually, uh, so how many people here, I remember that there were a couple last meeting that said that they had uh, either children or young like nieces or nephews who are interested in in serving in our activities uh, i know the fairy is already okay fairy uh, yeah sorry was that lion liz yulo i i heard already lorna lorna speak yeah. did liz liz said that she yeah. had some uh, Lion Cora Kabansagan would like to sponsor Leos. Oh, Cora. Yes. Cora Kabansagan. Okay. I want to sponsor um, some Leos, and I'm encouraging some of the children from Westmore. Hi. So they're interested. Okay, that's in perfect. It. So how do we do that? Do I need? Do we have a new application, or we need? Um, some permission from their parents to write mm -hmm. <clears throat> because I, I want them to really see how the Lions Club is do what they're doing. <clears throat> Actually, my granddaughter have uh, volunteered in one of our um, health fair and uh, her friend also like to join. They're on the second year or third year high. Paul? So what yeah. ages are we looking at? Uh, ages between 12 and 18. 12 to 18. Okay. So perfect high school and middle school, I guess, technically. Yeah, high school and middle school. Or middle middle school. school, too. Okay. I have my two grandchildren who are interested. So, Paul, I ask you write down. I mean, you already have the have Lorna um, also write down like Cora or her, her contact info, or you, you can get it from me or from from her her herself um, offline. Uh, but get in contact with them and get those uh, member applications filled out. That's the real uh, so we can get them inputted in our system. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where where do but I? Yeah, get there's a. The, okay, Paul, uh, member application for Leo is called Leo50. Just search up on linesclubs.org, Leo50. And, right. uh, and then send that off to them, get it back, you know. I forward it to them? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you, should, you should find that application, fill out the parts that are relevant to us, like, you know, Griffin's, our club number and name, because I think you have access to my LCI, right, Paul? Yeah. Yeah, so so get get that filled out, send it to them so they can you know make it easy for them, and then and then keep in contact with them to get those to get them added and get them indoctrinated in lionism, and then maybe you can set up like a some sort of Facebook messenger group or something to to contact them or like you know for the Leos as a whole. I don't know that that's up to you, but anyway, we so we do have a, a potential what you said your grandkids and your. Some other people from Westmore, that's maybe a good five, six mm -hmm. people overall. I mean, with, with Lion Cora Kabansagan and with uh, Lorna Farias, uh, two kids, three kids. Um, so that's that's a good, uh, we can we can start, that, that's how much we had when I started. So that sounds good enough for, we'll, we'll, we'll bring it back stronger than ever. And, and we'll get them involved in our health fairs because that's where we really need a lot of the, the muscle or the, the backbone to work so thanks thanks paul uh, anything else on your side uh not not really i just gotta do this application thing for them That's pretty much yeah it. anyway reach out to to our secretary our club secretary and to me if yeah. you need any help oh and and to of course uh line luisa and line dr june our past leo uh advisors they yeah. they, they actually will probably be the one that that are the most helpful um anyway so with that 
that concludes our committee reports. And now we will move into the business of the meeting, which is pretty short. We have about 20 more minutes uh, before our usual end time. So first thing in old business, youth protection policy. Now, Lion Dr. June has already uh, sort of given us a presentation last week or last month, sorry, about the, our this new requirement on our part to comply with the MD4, that is multiple district four or all of the lines in California, they have a new youth protection policy. Um, and so if we click on this document, I've already taken the liberty of filling it out. Um, but we do need to, I think motion that we, that we are in, that we, sh we will comply with this policy and, and motion to submit this form um, as, as made. But first uh, I will present it. So M multiple district for youth service compliance form. This form must be completed prior to any participation in any multiple district for youth service program and annually thereafter. So this is a, an annual commitment on our part to fill out this form. Our district is slot 4C4, our club, San Francisco Phil Am. And what, what we're doing, what the resolution that we're passing by, by motioning to accept this form is that we are acknowledging receipt and review of the following information the MD4 Lions Youth Protection Policy, and the Abuse and Harassment Prevention Training Manual and Leader's Guide. And we are confirming that our Lions Club is operating our youth service programs in accordance with the MD4 Lions Policies and Guidelines, and has completed board adoption of MD4 Youth Protection Policy. Uh, we've already discussed the policy previously. To summarize, it means that any person who is in frequent contact with youth must be go through a screening process as defined by uh, our MD4. That includes a training um, led by the Bo Boy Scouts of America organization, um, an online training. It also requires a background check performed by Sterling Volunteers, MD4's contractor for background checks, which will be a $32 uh, sort of fee for each lion that does this background check to be paid by the individual lion, or maybe, you know, if we can fundraise. Uh, and what else? I think, I think those two were the, the main requirements for, for the youth protection policy. Um, and it also asks that we uh, list the, the programs that we're doing with youth. I checked off Youth Exchange and Leo Club, which is what we do. Um, so any, and I yeah. dated it today and I signed it. So any questions about the youth protection policy or this, this motion or this resolution that we are, uh, affirming right now? I move. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, there's been a motion to accept or the, the resolution as presented on or to to comply with the MD4 youth protection policy. Uh, do we have a second? Just yell out. Was that line Beth? Yes. I think so. Okay. Uh, seconded by line Beth Ulo. Um, any discussion? In all actuality, we don't have any choice in this matter. If we don't comply with this, then we will be taken out of uh, MD4's in, uh, insurance program because this is an insurance liability. So it's kind of something that we just have to sign off on and, and uh, do. So I don't hear any discussion. So now we'll move into a vote. All in favor of accepting the MD4 youth protection policy, say aye. 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 Uh, any objections, say nay. Nay. <laughs> is that, is that true? <laughs> no, 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 no. I think she's, she's laughing, laughing, so I think she's joking. I have a question. Sorry, I'm, I, I have a question. Post office. My my question is: If you are with another group, you're doing a child, the same thing like a, 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 child, a safe environment for children. Does that qualify as the same? For the for the lions, the child safety. Blind Dr. June? No. 
even if uh, some if you if, if some volunteers in the in the school and they require this background check and uh, all boy scout or something like that it's no this is totally different from from uh, other uh, youth organization thank you so, so i will I, I will bring up sort of my understanding of the program and how it affects our club so really the requirements for the youth protection policy apply specifically to those who have reoccurring contact with youth so that means uh, unfortunately lion paul as our leo advisor will be the prime candidate for for having to complete this any youth exchange host families will have to complete this, like all of their members of, of the family in the youth exchange program. Um, as far as health fairs, um, those are somewhat reoccurring, but um, there's a different definition when it comes to uh, sort of contact with youth that's in a like sort of large public setting with like a lot of lions. If that's the case, then only one, one member of the lions has to be screened and the rest will be supervised by that, what they call a youth protection leader. Um, so in our health fairs, we would need one person to be the point person um, who takes that screening and then everyone else will fall under their protection. Um, and any other, I can't think any other off the top of my head uh, activities that have reoccurring contact with youth, but we'll have to see. Um, is, is that correct, Line Dr. Jun? Uh, any lions who has a uh, exposed to youth should should uh, have this uh, policy done. But we will have another training on the youth exchange since we are active in the youth exchange. We will have separate training, especially in our club, specifically on this pra requirement. We will do it again. Um, okay, so then moving on from this, because we have uh, we have carried this, or, you know, we've we've approved this form uh, screening. Who needs to be screened at least in a sh short term? Uh, like, who who needs to be screened out of yeah. all of us right now? Right now, do you have that information? Line, Doctor June. The people who will be screened here are, of course, uh, it, the automatically uh, lions are the youth exchange chair, as well as the uh, uh, Leo's uh, advisor. And uh, since it costs thirty-two dollars, I hope that we can fundraise so that it will not be a burden to the uh, people who volunteers already serving the youth so actually it is quite unfortunate um so youth ex our leo advisor obviously is paul quilly um youth exchange chair we have quite a lot of youth exchange chairs um appointed last year i don't even know if that's intentional uh reading off our roster of officers youth exchange committee has paul quilly Rufo Macareg, Luisa Valera, Tesla Valera, June Guevara, and Dr. June Valera as chairs. So would all Does of those- Does that mean I have to get screened twice? No, no, definitely not. Okay. <laughs> but, Thank God. But uh, does that mean all of those individuals? No, yeah, yeah. the, uh, the youth protection chair is uh, on committee chair, co-chairs is doc, me and, doc, and June Guevara, <coughs> while the people who are on the youth exchange committees are also they need to be part of this yeah yeah this is correct okay um so for those who are able to pay for this 32 dollar fee yourself um i guess do we recommend that they go through with completing the screening immediately or should they wait until, you know, because it, it expires every two years. So maybe it's more apt to wait until we're actually doing these things. We have to do it as soon as possible because now we will have Leos. Leos, sure. Um, yeah, so Leo okay. Advisor. Okay. 
<laughs> well, I assume that Leo's, as far as um, Leo's are concerned, since Lorna is the parent of her Leo's, then there's no problem. Like the, the requirement <laughs> goes beyond that. So it would really only be one of us. Uh, and since we're in a public setting in our in our uh, immediate you know activities the health fair or not the health fair the food bank so i would say that it's probably safe for one of us to get this and that to be sufficient um actually um bud and i um are fingerprinted through the archdiocese of san francisco uh, because we teach ctv so it should be no problem for us to uh, comply well unfortunately so the, the main thing is that you have to comply with the Lions uh, program. In no, addition. no, that's, that's understood. Um, it's just that we're familiar with kind of what what oh, yeah. might be in. Yeah, so we're, we're okay with uh, getting fingerprinted and um, go through the training. Okay. I, I, don't think, I don't think the background checks go that far, so we should be fine. <laughs> yeah. <kidding>. I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. <laughs> Then I'll I'll leave it at that for this uh for this for this um item on the agenda, unless there's any other comment. Youth protection. Hearing none. Um. So next, awards. Um. So just a, a quick update on the awards, um, club awards that we are in the process of submitting or are discussing. So. First is the 100% Secretary Award for myself. That was submitted to the district um, last month. So that's pretty much out of our hands now. The second is the Club Excellence Award. Um, I believe the status of that one is, is that we submitted it to the district. It was signed by the district governor. It was returned back to us, but we still have to email it out to international. Um, Line Candice, uh, if you're not too busy right now, can you, uh, did you email that out to international yet? Line Candy? I'm sorry. What? Uh, the question was, there, I sent you uh, an application for an award, the Club Excellence Award, maybe a week ago or so. Um, and all, or what we need to do now is just email it or fax it to international. Were you able to get get that done yet, or? Um, no, I, I, I did not see that. I, did, I have it. So That's I'll fine. need to look for it and find yeah. it. Yeah, so I'll I'll try to I'll send it again, and then it it should be a simple matter to just submit it. I just wanted you to do it since they might come reach okay. back and and as the secretary, that, that'll be your your call. But okay, that's that's the so needs email. So it's the club excellence award. Yes. I'll look for that. Yeah. And the last one is the kindness matter service award. This is a new award by international. Um, it's for um, activities that benefited one of the five global service causes, which are diabetes, the environment, vision, childhood cancer, or hunger, demonstrate innovation, scale and long-term sustainability, local partnerships, and use local Lions or Leos uh, resources. So you would have, we would have to nominate, if we wanted to, to partake in this award, we'd have to nominate a specific service project we did over the past year um, by August 15th, which actually I guess that is enough time that I'll, I'll probably just leave it to everyone think about that right now. And if you want to go ahead and, and apply this, um, I'll ask someone to step up and, and try to fill out that application. But we can we can discuss this offline since it's still a bit away. Uh, just, just to notify that that Kindness Matters Service Award is there. So that's it for awards. I don't think there's any discussion on this. Uh, next, district directory advertisements. Um, so this one is kind of, uh, sh mm, okay, I just wanted to bring it to the table that the district, or, you know, District 4C4 uh, annually puts out a district directory, which is the list of all of the club officers in the district, like every club in the district, 52 of them or, or so, some number. Um, and at the end of it, they put a bunch of advertisements and you can pay $100 to, to have a page be put into 
the, the directory at the end. A lot of people put their businesses, but of course, um, like I know that our family, the Valera family will be submitting an advertisement, just sort of congratulatory towards our incoming district officers. And, you know, it has our faces on it and, and our names. So I was wondering if the club would want to submit an, an advertisement to the directory. Mr. President, yeah. Line, Dr. Jun? We usually do this uh, as a... Uh, to support the district to put a, a page on the directory. However, we do not have funds at this point in time. So since it's $100, I would suggest that we would just uh, put it uh, sort of like a, like a chip in or something like that. So it's $100, then I will, uh, we would just uh, among ourselves you just donate to make a uh, hundred dollars so i will i will personally donate enough money for our club so and uh, we don't want to burden our club so i'm i'm donating 50 dollars for this so we need 50 dollars more whoever is available who wants to donate um Okay, you sort of jumped the gun there, but I was just gonna. Okay, yeah. uh, I'll I'll donate the other fifty. So it's I mean it's basically another. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's uh, between uh, anyway. Uh, out of the the people who are district officers here, um, I'm one, and my you know I'm I'm our incoming district service chair, and my dad is the the first vice district governor. So only fitting. <laughs> Wait, he, okay, the problem is he started at fifty. I, I thought we'd we'd go in like tens or something, and then we can all contribute. But if if he if he donates fifty, I have to donate fifty. So that's 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 what happens. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, everyone. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna put an ad, and uh, I will present a, a example of what we've done in the past. Here is uh, what it what it was for 2017, 2018, and you know just a simple list of our officers and members. I think we'll probably follow a similar format. Um, it it will be in black and white. So unfortunately, I don't think we have I don't think we even have club pictures or like you know a, a good picture of us as a group for a while now, and probably since our last installation. Um, so I'll instead we'll stick with members, officers, and then uh, probably put in our social media links in there as well. So good, we, we've 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 come across or we've we've uh, handled district directory. Um, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Next is uh, video conferencing. Um, does anyone have any suggestion or any comment on how this current video conferencing is is working, or or how uh, any like? Because I know some people prefer Zoom. Um, would it be? Uh, would there be interest in purchasing a pro license for Zoom at I believe uh, something like fourteen dollars a month? Uh, um, uh, it, it's not or or no, it's is there I have a I have a full accessible Zoom account via my school. Actually, okay, so that that is interesting. Do you know if I can create meetings, host meetings? Or I mean, you know, if there's a limit, because you know, we we have quite a few here. Oh, can you record? That's the that's the very important. Yeah, I can one. record. There's okay. a recording function on there. But the okay. only problem is uh, I don't know about people that need to make accounts. Then I'm, that's where I think I get. Is is that so? Is that true? You everyone needs to make an account for Zoom. You can't I just don't. call the meeting ID and password. No, no, not everybody has to make an account. If one has a, an account, that's all you need. Well, I, I'm I'm talking specifically about because Paul said that he has a free account with his uh, or he has a free Zoom with his university, and they might have stricter requirements. I'm not sure. 
Well, anyway, so I, I brought it up just to. Well, what, do mean, what do you mean strict requirement? I mean, do, does everyone need to make an account? Oh. Okay. Okay, then it's fine. Yeah, uh, good. I don't know. So I was able to join the family one. Well, but but that was a, a personal. That was, that was a That's different. True. Yeah. Well, well, okay, anyway. we'll talk about it some other time. Yeah, so we'll take it offline. Uh, at least I, I threw that out as one option. No one else, or uh, actually, maybe I'll bring it up. Does anyone else pay for Zoom right now and would be would be uh, comfortable in letting us host our meetings on it or any other video conferencing software? I have Zoom, but with, with, the, with the government and the, the backlash might not work. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no thanks. <laughs> yeah. It's like using a TikTok. Well, anyway, uh, so I, I'll well, can can it be noted on video conferencing providers that Leo Lion Paul is offering his uh, university Zoom account for us to try? Otherwise, I know that the video quality was very bad last week or last month, but this month it has been pretty good, right? Uh, no, no drops so far. A little choppy, but overall okay. Yeah. Yeah, so this this is also an option. I do kind of like it, uh, except for the fact that it's it's a bit choppy sometimes. But it's pretty easy to set up, and the recording comes out pretty easily too. So I I just brought it up as if, if anyone else had any preference. I know the good thing about Zoom is that you can put some virtual backgrounds. I've seen a lot of interesting uh, <laughs> people like you know people have like the Golden Gate Bridge behind them. Sure, that's one thing. But I've seen people like put put virtual backgrounds where they're uh, sitting in a Starbucks or like, you know, on a ship, like in Antarctica or something. But that, that's a fun thing that, that zoom zoom includes, but anyway. Okay. So we'll, I'll, I'll uh, be, be forewarned that next meeting may be on a different platform and you might have to, we might have to set up a practice session for zoom. That's, that's the main concern. It's like, I've, I set up a practice session for this one when we first started using it. Now people know how to use it, but we'll, we'll have a similar one for, for zoom if we do do that. So, okay. That's it for video conferencing. And last, uh, before we move into open forum installation plans, line Dr. June, uh, if you're still here, any, any, uh, notice on our installation, will we have an installation this year? Well, um, mo most of the clubs will have a virtual uh, installation. So it's just a matter of uh, uh, when. However, we are trying to, to study the possibility of multi-clubs virtual installation. So we'll see what will be the study uh, result is. But we have to decide as soon as possible. We know that physical installation will not happen this uh, the, 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 in the next six months. We know that. So it's most probably virtual, but it's just a matter of our club or our club with other clubs. The purpose of multi-clubs is we can probably get a international uh, dignitary as a guest speaker. If not, then we can decide among ourselves. Yeah, then we'll have to have uh, Lion Dr. Jun as our guest speaker. Yeah. But I'm, uh, uh, no. maybe, maybe we can install the the offices now and then we'll just uh, celebrate when uh, everybody will uh, uh, bring uh, when the normal thing will be back huh? that's a good idea line rupo yeah you mean we, right we, now we can uh, have uh, oh, not no, now. Uh, that's what he said you maybe. <laughs> yeah, the next can, few months can, we, you're gonna be like uh, installed by uh by like this uh, Zoom, then when uh, we when we're back to normal, maybe we can do kind of like celebration, like uh, fundraising too at the same time. And we have we have to also plan our 50th huh? golden anniversary.
Okay, so I'll speak. Uh, I personally would be a bit more interested in a multi-club installation. So being installed alongside several other Lions clubs. Just for, you know, the larger the event is, it's not like it really matters for like room size now because, you know, being in front of a computer with 10 people or 100 people, it's not too different. But just being able to, to see more faces and have more interaction uh you know we can get a, a larger guest speaker we can we can invite uh people from you know our all of our uh our twin clubs in the philippines might might attend if it's a larger event if it's just uh you know just just our club then it might yeah. be harder to get people to, to attend which i mean i'm that's not you know it's not like that's the point of the installation but you know larger if we're going to put in the same amount of work, regardless of whether it's a small club or a large club, because now we don't have to set the tables for 200 people, then then might as well go big. But that's that's just my uh, opinion. If if we can get 10 clubs, that will be great already. Because if we get around 20, that will be very hard probably. 10 to 15 clubs is probably be, uh, doable, especially the fill fill um fill um clubs. Probably it's doable. Now, uh, Line Doctor June, can you can you speak on who you've been talking this with, and whether there are already clubs that are interest have shown interest? No, we haven't. We haven't. Uh, we are we we are still in the uh, discussion mode. So, but I think nobody. Uh, I don't know any plans yet on other clubs, but I think we're in the next few days we will know okay i will bring up that at least normally if if covid was not a thing then we would have our installation be a multi-club installation as we have over the past four years now uh we've joined up with uh lions from all across district 4c4 and if i can find oh, that's our adver advertisement okay so last year we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen Lions and Leos clubs installed at once in this like big multi club event. So that's uh, assuming that they're they're still interested in it now that it's virtual, because one of the the main uh, advantages of multi club back in the day was that, you know, each individual club didn't have to rent out the ballroom and try to get twenty two hundred guests. Uh, they can just join with us and then especially the small clubs who don't have enough people to fill a ballroom. But now that it's digital, maybe more clubs will be able to hold digital installations and won't won't uh, be as interested. But we'll we'll see. So just just to bring it up. I think we will open it again to the uh, clubs that participated in the multi clubs uh, last time. So I, I, I'm pretty sure they will say yes because otherwise they uh, they don't have to walk about the installation yeah yeah especially especially the clubs who aren't able to to meet virtually currently then having someone else set up the virtual installation for them will be will be a blessing so we, we can help them with that that's one way we can serve yeah okay any any more uh, input on this virtual installation should i at this point uh appoint an installation committee chairperson. <laughs> Line Dr. June, uh, since you're coordinating with this, would you would you like to be our our this year's installation committee chairperson? You. Yeah, you're muted. Yes, I am. Okay. Um so okay. I've I've oh. here uh, do you have any co-chairs that you, you'd wish to work with on this? I think you. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so I've, I've appointed myself and Lion Dr. June as uh, chair and co-chairs of the installation committee for this year. Uh, please record that in the minutes. Because we might be able to, we might chair also the multi-clubs. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, this is this is just in relation to our club, and we will be the the representatives to the multi club uh, committee once that becomes 
a thing if it does. And if not, then we will be in charge of hosting the the individual club multi club or the individual club virtual installation. Okay. Because we will also involve our Gripos Leo Club uh, installation. Yeah. Well, we'll see. First, we have to get members on that. So I think I think that's it for this uh, topic. Right. Then if that's the case, then we are now almost done with our meeting. But before that, I'd like to open the floor to any of our members, maybe even our new members, to if there's anything that you want to discuss in this Lion meeting. Uh, yes, uh, this is Lion Rufo. Uh, stay safe, everyone. And uh, hopefully uh, when we have the flu shot, we can give also the... Uh, COVID flu shot. Huh? <laughs> we'll pray. Hopefully, we'll pray that the vaccine, vaccine will be uh, discovered soon. I think uh, Gilead is doing. Uh, it's very promising, I believe. So, hopefully, we can go back to normal. Uh, we'll pray hard that everyone will be safe and healthy. Yes. Thank. Thank you, Line Rufo. God bless, and uh, I hope that you and your family are are all doing well. How's Vem? Yeah, yeah uh, he's, he's doing okay. Uh, they're always on the front line. That's why, uh, you know, I keep praying that uh, hopefully it's, it's even tough, you know. And yeah. so I'm always on the front line at the kitchen, <laughs> the cooking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Uh, it's recently called it on the rice, so... The, we need to be, be vigilant, be cautious, and then, you know, it's really not a joke. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anything else? Okay, I guess uh, hearing nothing, um, then seems like we're we're good. Thank you, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, this meeting ran a little bit late. Well, I guess not because we started late too. So it's it's been about two hours. Um, thank one, you. Yeah, uh, one thing is we we will at some point need to discuss where we're going to meet physically next year, um, but it seems like that won't happen this month. So the next meeting will be, if it continues as scheduled, on August 5th, 2020 uh, at 7 p.m. And that will be the first time that we move back to our normal schedule of every first Wednesday. So keep that in mind, August 5th, uh, clear your schedule um, and see you via Zoom or whatever uh, we decide. Um, I now adjourn the meeting at... 9 11 uh perfect perfect timing and thank you all and feel free to to stay on the line for a little bit longer if you just want to chat um otherwise we'll we'll close it once there's uh no one else here and also i will stop the recording at this time